What's going on guys, it's Guys and Trails, I'm Jimmy, and in this video I'm going to talk about my everyday carry and why I still carry it. Stay tuned. Don't mind the flowers, my girlfriend did it, she decorates, so I just think, I, I think it's, it's, it's alright, I mean I don't, you guys might not like it, but you guys, have to, you guys have to talk to her for that because I can't. I'm not, I'm not part of that. If you guys don't like it, your, your beef is with her, not me. My, my EDC, my everyday carry, why I still carry it. And the reason why I still carry this in particular gun, which I'm going to show you in a second, is because it's compact, it's, it's reliable, and that's pretty much about it. But before I go ahead and, and uh, get into the specs of this video, guys, I want to say. Um, I'm back doing these videos. I know I, I fell off for a minute. Uh, my thing is, I want to still continue making these videos because you guys are great in the comment section. You guys are still, oddly enough, are still uh, replying and are still commenting on, on videos. Even though I told you in a, in a previous one of my previous videos that I'm gonna shut this channel down, I'm gonna stop doing videos. But you guys are still loyal, so. And on top of that, one of my videos is still growing. I don't understand how to this day still. Um, it's the video I did with the uh, Smith & Wesson SD40VE. For some odd reason, that video is still getting traction. I don't, I don't understand why or how, but I'm not gonna stop it. So, continue on. And if you haven't seen the video yet, I will link it. Uh, it looks like that. Also, video is gonna be in the description down below. Now, let's get into the gun. Ladies and gentlemen, this is what you call the Ruger LC9, okay? I know Ruger had, um, they did a 2.0, I think, on this one, but I this gun is perfectly fine to me, and I know for a fact that upon Ruger milk making this gun, they decided to, you know, make it compact and make it a, a good everyday carry, and for people who, you know, want to not have a full-size pistol and also have a self-defense, um, you know, round, such as 9mm, and in my case, I have the Hornady the Horn Critical Defense. Zoom in. No. There we go. Right there. Um, I think this is the. I have. I bought a light, and I bought. It's the Horn Critical, Critical Defense light, and that's like 100 grain. Um, so it's to me, this I kind of had to step my my ammo game up a little bit on this Ruger, but it'll get the job done if you know what I mean. And as you see, I took the I took the mag out. As always, got to clear the gun out, nothing in the chamber. I rig checked, as you can tell right here. See, nothing in there. So, I still, carry, I still carry this pistol, and not for long, but for the meantime, I still do. The reason why is because I believe that Ruger made this gun specifically for me. They said, you know what, Jimmy needs a good EDC, so let's make one. We're gonna make one for him, in particular, and then we're just gonna sell it to numerous people, a million people around the world. Um, but this gun somewhere along in this gun has my name my full name in it because it just it feels good in hand and I, I'm, I'm getting better shooting at it since I got in it yes you know when you get a gun you always always want to practice with it and don't just hold on to a gun and, and not get used to it you always want to get used to a gun and my number one one of my number one rule for buying a gun is the previous gun that I have or any gun that I buy I get used to the trigger pull, I get used to the, the sights, I get used to the range, I get used to, you know, the, the recoil on it, the, I get used to the handle of it and how it feels in the hand, and then when I'm used to it, that's when I make the move to, to purchase another gun. Now, I said that, for now, this is my EDC, for now, um, and the reason, this, this is the reason why, is because I live in Mass, in the state of Mass, it, you know, when you're... When you have a license to carry, you can only carry up to 10 rounds max. In this case, I have a 7 round, this holds 7 rounds. That extra 3 rounds uh, can be very well used in a self defense situation because the way how you know, I've trained myself um, to basically you know, use the bullets such as a self defense and you know. I don't carry these for fun. I carry these for you know these are these things will stop you, right? So in a case that I'm in, um, and it could be any case, you always want to have 
the most you can get. And seven rounds is perfectly fine and all, but I want something that has 10 rounds to use do the max. But I also want to carry something that's compact. So that's for a whole other video. But in the meantime, this is perfectly fine. Seven rounds is perfectly fine. You know, um, I'm, I'm not prolific with the gun, right? my, my sights and my, my aim, but I'm getting better, right? And I think I'm good enough to go ahead and, and defend myself and not worry about if I can, you know, hit the target, if I can hit the target and, you know, leave all BB. Um, so that's that. And another reason why I just, I feel like I have to keep, I just have to keep the gun, this pistol is because of this beautiful, nice, elegant, luxurious um, holster. Kydex holster. Uh, this thing, it, man, if you are in the market for a compact pistol, you can get a pistol, get any pistol you like, right? Any pistol you like. You can get the Ruger LC9 if you want to, but you need, one, this, you just need one of these holsters, right? Kydex holsters. Always get, always look for a compact holsters because I've carried full-size pistols, right, as, you know, every day. Um, but for me, I just find that it was too heavy. I find that it was not as concealable as I thought it would be, even with a, with a holster, but, you know, a compact holster with um, something that, that's not, that's low profile, right? You don't want something to cover the whole gun. That You don't want that. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like in this situation. right here okay. it's not covering it's not covering the handle you, you always want quick access to the handle right quick access to the handle boom you pull it out and popping it right back in so the only thing it should cover is basically the trigger and the safety you can't really do much if the safety and if the magazine and if the hammer isn't you, you know cocked back otherwise that trigger won't work you need, you need all three components to work. Um, and then, again, having ha having your own your own pistol, having your own compact pistol, again, you need to learn how it works. You can shoot it perfectly fine, but if you're in a situation where you have to defend yourself and you freak, and you you naturally forget that you don't carry something, you don't carry one in the chamber, you gotta take that split second to you know, put, put one in the chamber and then do what you gotta do. For me, I don't carry one in the chamber because, to be honest, guys, I'm not comfortable carrying one in the chamber with this gun. I'm not. I'm gonna be honest. I'm not. But because I'm reluctant to it, and because I'm leaning more of just forgetting about being uncomfortable and, and, and just carrying one in the chamber, it's simply because you know, you, you see, nothing's in the mag. Safety, safety is off, right? Safety is off, so it's ready to fire. I can't do much, or I can't even at least have one in the chamber without it just. This thing just doesn't, it, the trigger just doesn't pull, right? So I put one in the chamber and now it's ready to pull, right? Obviously I have to slide it back and, and, and do what I gotta do. Um, but I always have to remember that. I have to remember, okay, I don't have one in the chamber. And if I can get out of a situation for just five seconds to just assess and, you know, to, to put one in the chamber, you know, slide it back. And then I can, you know, do, you know, whatever I have to do, right? But I, I, uh, and the reason why I say is because a lot of people have they had they didn't like the the safety mechanism with the Ruger LC9. I don't know. To me, it's fine because I, I I'm not comfortable carrying one in the chamber. So that for me, that's fine. For you, it might be fine. You might want to carry one in the chamber, and it's pretty, you can do that with the Ruger LC9. It's not gonna break the trigger. And upon looking on YouTube, um, there's not many, there's not many reviews on the Ruger LC9. I think, I think it's a very underrated gun, guys. At least carry it in your collection. You can't go wrong with having a Ruger LC9 in your collection. I mean, this thing is, a, it, to me right now, it's, it's a classic gun. It's, it's, a, it's an already, it's a, already just a classic gun. And you don't need a lot of customization. It's perfect how it comes right out the box. Uh, you get two mags. You know, you get your. Um, you get your safe, you get your lock, which I don't, I have already have a safe, I don't need a lock. Um, but these mags, I just think they're, they're pretty cool though. And then of course you have your 
or your critical defense bullets, which I always recommend getting. If you are looking for self-defense, get one of these. Okay, shut your mouth, get the one of these, um, and they, they get the job done. Again, this is, these are the lights. They, they have the critical defense. You can get those, I have those as well. Um, and one more thing on the Ruger LC9, the reason why I say I'm not, I'm, I'm not set in stone and carrying it every day is because it's a, it's a small gun. It's a small gun and the handle for me, um, I, ha I have to worry about it. I have to worry about the handle more than the trigger pull. And you know that's a problem because even in the range when I go shoot it, right? It's, I'm not, I'm not, I mean, naturally a smaller gun, you're gonna have, it's, you're gonna have a harder time shooting it as you would a full size pistol because you know, the sights are smaller, the gun's smaller, and the way you have to hold it is you have to do it in a certain way. And my hands, you know, I can grip, I can grip, uh, I can grip a basketball, right? So I have to hold my hand a certain way. Um, I have to hold my hold my wrist a certain way, and I can't, I can't bend it because that's just gonna mess with, mess with my aim. Um, and you, again, you gotta, you just gotta get used to any gun that you have. But I can't really just point and then shoot. I kind of have to find, you know, where where that first bullet is going, as opposed to okay, I'm on target. I can, you know, I can aim and shoot. I kind of have to decipher where the bullet's gonna go first, you know, and then I can focus on the aim. So that's why I would like more than just seven rounds. If that makes sense, like I want more than seven rounds in my mag. And one more thing is cleaning this gun. It's it wasn't as hard as I thought, as I thought it would be. Um, you always want to learn how to clean your guns, anyways, because you know number one, it'll just save you money. And number two, um, there's nothing more attractive than a man knowing his gun. But as you see here, there's a indicator when there's one in the chamber. It says loaded went up. Obviously you'll see this red, this little red up indicator here saying that there's, hey, there's one in the chamber. So that's, that's the reason why I kind of like that. Some people don't agree with that. Whatever you guys, we have our own opinions, right? But I like this because it does, uh, you know, it, it allows me to easily see if there's one in the chamber or not, as opposed to looking, you know, looking for light and seeing just if there's a little gold or silver uh, bullet in there, right? Um, and also, it doesn't get in the way of, of the, it doesn't get, it doesn't get in the way of my um, my sights, right? This thing is up. It's not in the way of my sights. I say I can still aim with no, with no issue. So there you have it. Um, that's that's the Ruger LC9. Currently my EDC. I will show you guys my new EDC, and um, I'm kind of excited because I got a new accessory with it. You know, so gotta add the wheels to the car. If you guys know what I'm talking about. So again, I appreciate you guys. You know, still dropping down comments in the comment section. Um, check out my other videos. You know, you might you might find them entertaining, entertain, entertainful, or you might find them entertaining. I mean, to say. Um, yeah, and you know, drop a comment, leave a like, you know how it goes. Guys and trails, I'm Jimmy signing out. Peace.